So we, uh, Sebastian, Rick, and I heard you speak at Plutus Fest. Um, great, great speech, by the way. And for all the viewers out there, so Cardano has a plethora of products, and sometimes it's confusing to group everything and figure out exactly what what things are serving what purpose. So we have Plutus, we have Marlowe, we have Yella, and we have KEVM. And from what is understood, Plutus and Marlowe exist in this realm, and then Yella exists in this realm, and then KEVM exists in its own realm as well. So what is the difference for a smart contract developer? Why would they want to build on Plutus or Marlowe versus Yella or just build their Ethereum smart contract within KEVM. What is the difference? So the difference here is really um, addressing different requirements. Um, so just to first address uh, KEVM, Yelly, and then Brutus Marlowe, um, the idea with KEVM is, is really to say, okay, there's this existing infrastructure EVM underlying Ethereum, and a, a lot of code has been written for it. But we all know a lot of bad code has been written for it as well. So uh, at this point, let's first understand what, from a computer science point of view, what's actually the meaning? How does this thing actually really work? That's what the KEVM is, a uh, formalization of the EVM in, in a framework called uh, K by a runtime verification. And um, so this takes this existing technology, uh, it makes it understood on a new level, and then um, uh, allows us to run basically existing code with little or no modifications on top of that. So yeah, it takes it to the next level and says, if we could redesign the EVM and make a better virtual machine with less scope for things to go wrong. Um, what could we do, right? Let's go back to the drawing board, but let's try still to be able to support as much of the existing software, for example, written in Solidity on that new virtual machine. That's what Yele achieves. And then Plutus and Mayo, they pose a different question. They are saying, <clears throat> okay, let's forget about all this existing software. Let's forget about being backwards compatible. Uh, if you can go back to the drawing board and even what we know now, uh, build something which is as safe, as secure, as featureful as we want it to be, what would that look like? And uh, that's what Plutus and Marlow are about. So really we are addressing three different questions with these three different technologies. And from a user's point of view, it also addresses three different use cases, namely, well, I want to just run my existing Solidity code versus, well, I want to reuse my Solidity code, but I'm happy to change some things to, well, yes, I'm going to rewrite my application in Plutus. Or if it's a new application, then why not write in Plutus right from the start? So. Now that leaves Plutus and Marlowe, and they are really complementary. What Plutus, what the Plutus platform provides is a general purpose contract development platform. So whatever you, idea you could come up with that you might want to write a distributed application for on Cardano, you can do this in Plutus. Marlowe, uh, that's great, that's a lot of flexibility, but it comes at a, at a cost. The cost being that you basically have to be a software engineer or a, 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 a developer, an experienced developer to use Plutus. Uh, Marlow uh, comes with the premise saying, well, there are certain domains, for example, financial applications, which are obviously interesting in, on a blockchain, so for just looking at financial applications, can we make a language which is simple, simpler, actually so simple that somebody who is not a software developer, somebody who is a domain expert, uh, somebody who works in finance, can use this language without having to resort to uh, getting a software engineer to do the coding? And um, our answer to that 
is yes, with Marlowe, you, this is possible. It's a domain specific language. You don't have to be a software engineer to use it. What you are giving up is the flexibility because now you're restricted to the, this one domain, financial contracts. But within that domain, it's, it's a lot simpler to write those contracts. So it's a, it's a trade-off between generality and ease of use. So I think having both is good.